she has the Mobile Boutique. Now pronounce the name for us. Shetty La Mode Boutique. And where did that come from? So my background is Creole. And even though it's not a Creole name, uh -huh. I wanted something in French. Right. So Shetty is a term of endearment mm -hmm. and it means love and La Mode means fashion. So what brought this idea about? So back in 2001, there's a few ladies who came up with the idea in Los mm -hmm. Angeles. And so it pretty much took off uh, throughout the United States and mm -hmm. there's over 800 of us and there oh, wow. is a group of us that's over 2,000 of us mm -hmm. who's either uh, getting started or talking about it or have already, you know, full-blown have mm -hmm. a storefront or mobile boutique now. So you guys are a part of a organization who kind of does this type of thing mm -hmm. in different areas. Yes. So you chose this area because you live here? Yes. And mm -hmm. did you see a demand for this type of thing? Um, actually, because it's so brand new, mm -hmm. nobody really knows anything okay. about this type of thing, uh -huh. so I can't really say that the demand was there, mm -hmm. but I've always wanted to do something in fashion, so I said, let me give this a try right. instead of trying to do a brick and mortar. And how is the, uh... How are people feeling about it? They love it. Really? I get really good feedback. Even okay. when I was getting started and talking to uh -huh. people about it, it's always been positivity. So where do you go? Where do, where can people find you? Where do you mostly go? Do you have your own spot? Do you go to do you travel? So I go to Greenville New Look Hair Salon. Okay. Um, owner know. Sheila, Sheila Luggett. Okay. And she allows me to park there. Uh, and I also park in Kinston, mm -hmm. across the street from the Farmer's Market okay. on Heritage Street. And the times and dates that I will be at those locations mm -hmm. will vary. So I post on Facebook okay. where I'm going to be because I may be at a festival at, or at an event. So you do festivals, type of festivals? Anyone that's near <laughs> near in the area. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is that between here, Greenville, uh, Jacksonville? Do you do mm -hmm. the whole ENC area or just select parts? I right try now? to stay within an hour. Okay. Because, you know, this is an <laughs> older truck. Yes. You know, this is a brand new thing. Right. So, you know. Um, I do try to stay within an hour. And this is an old FedEx truck, right? So actually, so this is how the whole FedEx thing came okay. about. Okay, yes, explain, explain. We've okay, so <laughs> actually, have you heard of Wise Potato Chip? Yes. So this is actually his truck. This is Mr. Baker's truck. He okay. sold it to me. And the reason I explained to um, the lady, uh, the news lady, uh, I explained it to her that way because she didn't know what wise was gotcha and so i was like well can you just imagine a fedex truck and so that's kind of gotcha I came. okay okay so this is so you just transformed this is the old chip truck mm -hmm. and you transformed it so why this type of thing what made you go for this type of look this type of truck uh, well, just looking around at what everybody else was doing, mm -hmm. getting some ideas and just having some of my own. Mm -hmm. And then a friend of a friend of our families helped me put everything together and, you know, the walls up, the floor, everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I'm right. going to just do this and do something that will just get me off the ground instead of being like, well, I'm going to wait and do this, this, and this, right. and it costs all this money. Right. No, go ahead and launch it, mm -hmm. you know? And so the reception has been good. I see you clean the whole... How long did it take you to, like, restyle this whole thing? Um, not long at all. Oh. I I got bungees, to, mm -hmm. so, like, I push, smush everything together, do the bungees, uh -huh. put the um, walls up on the shelves, uh -huh. and just put everything else in storage. So, um, it doesn't take long at all. So where did the clothes come from? So, I do resale, mm -hmm. and uh, I do accept donations, okay. and I also have other vendors that I work with. Okay. Where can people donate to? They can donate to me. Um, I do have a P.O. box. Okay. And I'll, I can get that information <laughs> yeah. later, but um, yes, can donate to me. Okay. Or I um, I can pick up if you're local. Gotcha. So you have men's clothes, women's clothing, what else? Um, bath and body products. Ooh, where do those come from? New York. New York. And they Ooh. are, um, I try to use natural products okay. because gotcha. that's what I can use. Uh -huh. so I don't want to give someone else something I wouldn't use. Gotcha. Else? Any extra information with the world to know? Anything um, you want to say? So I do. Um, I do give. We do uh, donate okay. to PNA. It's a pituitary network association. Mm -hmm. So anything that's donated to me, whatever sells, mm -hmm. a percent of the of the proceeds do go to um, the organization. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you for coming, and we're gonna look around and see exactly what you guys have to offer. And say the name for the boutique one more time. Shady Lamode Boutique.